Matt Smash is starting at gate two. Robert Lambert coming round the outside from gate three. Oh, Jankovic! That bike just hooks up, slams Freddie Lingman up. Oh, Lambert comes from nowhere. What a move from Robert Lambert. Here comes Lingman now, back up the inside. Sensational opening lap of Speedway. Proper tough stuff. Jankovic has really impressed me, the effort he's putting in here. We can see Freddie Lingman makes a great start. Looks like Robert Lambert's going to get a good run. Then nearly runs into the back of Lingren. There, Jankovic slams Freddie Lingren into the... Straightens him right up. I tell you what, Freddie's done very, very well to stay on the bike there. The back wheel just runs into the berm of dirt on the bottom of the fence. Bit naughty, that one. It? Yeah, it was, it was a bit tough. It was tough. <laughs> but uh, the one who, who really... Uh, got himself out in front because of that move was Robert Lambert. I mean, he, he read it. He could see what was going on. He read it very quickly. Can he do it again? Doyle's unbeaten. Here we go then. Oh, Doyle's moving all over the place. Missed the start big time. Lambert's got there. Look at the but Look at Doyle. Doyle's oh, come from nowhere. How on earth has he done that? Freddie Lingwin now up the inside. Fabulous speedway in number 11. Doyle back to the front. What an opening lap of speedway. I tell you what, Jason Doyle almost did himself a favour by moving there because he gave himself a lot of room to make the cutback on that corner. It looks like he's going to have a run up the inside. Lingwin now moving wider, wider, wider. Fantastic. Look at the movement there. I thought he was yeah. going to touch the tapes. He was lucky he didn't. I'm sure he'll get a warning for that. I haven't heard anything at the moment. But uh, almost did him a favour, though, because when he drops the clutch, his body weight's all in the wrong place, makes an absolutely terrible start. He does receive a warning for that movement at the start. But it just allows him the room to make the cut back up the inside very successfully. And then, of course, he goes into a battle with Freddie Lindgren, two of the old guys in this lineup. But look at them going at each other. Riding like teenagers, Doyle's beaten for the first time this evening. He's still on eight points, so almost certainly through to the semi-finals. Points on the line, as always. Tapes up. We're away. Yanofsky's made a lovely start on the inside. Can he get there? Yes, he has. Big turn back from Lambert. Wozniak round the outside. Yay! What a move from Dan Beauty. Rolls down the inside of the opposition there. Right up high on the banking as he exits turn number four. Yeah, this was class. Very even break from the start. All four riders getting there pretty much exactly the same time. Yanofsky thinks he's got it covered. Rides around the middle of the track. Wrong place to be. He's got Dan Bewley making strides up the inside of him. Wozniak round the outside and all that grip. But Bewley does well to get down there uh, early enough to push Wozniak wide. Green light is on. Tapes are up. Robert Lambert's made an absolutely sensational start from gate number two. He fires himself to the front. Lebedev comes round the outside. Smarslick slips back to third place. Round the outside is back. So you're not. Here comes Sam Bartos Smarslick. Oh, what a move from him. From gate three there to get himself into second place. But look at that. Creeps right around the curb. Couldn't have been any tighter. Gets the bike going forward. Stops Janoski's run on the outside. Janoski has to get the brakes on. And there, just sits in second place. And uh, what a way to win his fifth world title. Really was an accomplished performance tonight. Heat number five. Tapes are up, and away we go. Lambert's made a lovely start out of gate number three, but Max Frick is there, but round the outside comes Lambert. Frick slams the door shut down the back straight. That allows Matze Jonowski to go from third to first. Max Frick now replaced the compliment, coming back up the inside. Lambert now coming up the inside. Can he get to the front? Not quite. He comes up the inside, back into second place. Frick's been beaten up there. In heat number three, sorry, to Freddie Lindgren, but uh, this one, fantastic opening lap there from Max Frick. Hard on Robert Lambert, moved right over to the fence. Max sometimes uh, a little bit too friendly to his opposition, but he wasn't there, he moved right over. And we can see the left leg there of Lambert coming out, steadying him as he gets off the throttle. But that's allowed a big gap up the inside for Janoski. And uh, Max Frick immediately cuts back, great timing from him, but that allows a good run up the inside then from Lambert. What a hectic opening lap that was, and Lambert settles down. I've got to say, the way he came past Max Frick, thought he'd have the speed on Janoski, but once Janoski got himself in front, settled down for the win.